guys, it's Angie here. I just wanted to give you a little background on me so you can understand a little bit about the excitement of something I'm going to show you in just a minute. So, I grew up a Midwestern farmer's daughter. We moved to Utah when I was about 10 onto a sheep farm with 22 and a half acres. And there we raised our own food, whether it was in a garden or our own meat. I learned to make bread from hand and um, my own cheese and yogurt. We did all of that as a family. And then I grew up and got a little older and met this really handsome man who grew up a um, newspaper editor's son. And he currently, Jason, is a tech guy. He's the director over user services at a little university in South Jordan, Utah. We also on the weekend, our family does, owns a um, sound and lighting company. So you can understand how it would be a little bit difficult for this farm girl to own a farm with the lifestyle we live, especially since right now in Utah, we all know that pricing for houses is going up and land's going up and it's ridiculously expensive. So we live on a quarter acre lot and it's set on a corner. So part of it is non-usable because it's driveway and it's retaining walls. And if you glance behind me, there's a mountain behind me. So our land up here, we're in Eagle Mountain, Utah, is really unfertile and clay soil. But I've managed to make a little oasis that provides all the tomatoes I need all year long. For can I can them, we eat them fresh, I freeze dry some things, um, and we have blackberries and every vegetable you can imagine. Well, now we're at the end of August, and I know we still have a little bit longer of, of harvest time. We'll probably have this year supposed to be warmer, so a couple more months. But I'm already feeling really sad about the fact that we're gonna be not having fresh tomatoes again. And if I want something for a sandwich, it's gonna be out of the store. So the other day, my husband surprised me with something really cool that I've been thinking about for a long time. Arrow Garden just put on their 24XL farm model for $330 off. So he not only bought me one, but he bought me two. And they showed up the other day on our front porch and him and my daughter put them together. The neat thing about the Farm XL is that it'll grow bigger things indoors hydroponically. But when you look online, all you see for most of the videos, if they're not done by Arrow Garden, are people setting up the garden or very early on just planting the few plants, but you don't see many follow-ups on that. So my goal is today to show you what they've set up, the Arrow Garden, to show the weird plants we're gonna put in there that aren't necessarily the normal plants that Arrow Garden sends you when they send you their little pods. I wanna do some different things and see what can happen. And we'll watch it over time. I'll show you what we've done and, and see the good things that turned out and we'll learn some of the failures and know not to do them again. And hopefully together we can make some changes and adjustments and we'll learn and see how great this Aero Garden Farm XL turns out to be. And as you can see, there's some really neat things on it. There's the lights that come down and they lower and, and raise and, and adjust according to as the plants grow. There's a trellising system on there that we might be totally happy with or we might make adjustments to. We'll just have to see as these tomatoes and cucumbers and beans and green peppers grow. But we'll count down and we'll watch them and we'll see what happens. And, and, and then you'll maybe have some options of, of other reviews that give you some real life experience with it. 